another Chromebook Plus to unbox, and this time it's the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Gaming Chromebook Plus. A bit of a mouthful. This particular one is the highest spec in the range with a 12th gen Core i5 processor, 8 gig of low power DDR4 RAM, and a 512 gig SSD for storage, and a high spec 16 inch display that should look amazing. The keyboard is also pretty funky with four zone RGB backlighting that I'll show you later in the video. I paid just £256, about $332 US dollars for this, in very good refurbished condition from Laptop Outlet on eBay in the UK. I did hint at this one on X and Threads, but I didn't post a deal this time as it was the last one available. Let's get into the unboxing and take a look. So this range launched in 2023, but two model options, including this one, came out in 2024. So I think that's helped it get the Chromebook Plus branding on the lid and on the actual Chromebook itself. They'll all have the actual update on them. We've got the USB-C charger, so it should just be a 45 watt USB-C charger with this one. It was described as a slim adapter, but this obviously just looks like the standard Lenovo brick to me. Uh, possible I've got a different one because it's refurbed, but otherwise this could be just what you're going to get with it. And I've of course got a UK plug as well. Let's get the Chromebook itself out. Okay, so we've got the paperwork as always, shouldn't be needing that. And let's get this Chromebook the right way around. Okay, slide off the packaging. So straight away you can tell this is a large device. It's got a 16 inch display on it. So it's one of the largest Chromebooks I've had on the channel. You've got this two-tone finish on the aluminium lid. So you've got this kind of pretty funky design on the right hand side here. And you've got the Chromebook Plus branding up on the lid as well. So looking pretty smart. And of course you've got the Lenovo logo and labeling in the more standard way over on the left hand side. This color is stone blue. It's actually pretty nice. It's like a, a very light blue color. There's also the storm gray. That's a bit more of a popular color in Lenovo's other ranges and both have got this same two-tone design finish to them. So look pretty good. And as I say, it is an aluminum lid with a plastic build for the rest of it. The weight actually isn't feeling too bad considering this is a, a larger 16 inch device. It's looking fairly clean. I think there's some sort of mark there that will just wipe off on the lid. But again, being a refurbished Chromebook in very good condition from a, a seller that I've used before, sort of expecting this to be in, in really like new condition. So just to give you a quick look at the ports on the left hand side of the Chromebook to start with, we've got a power battery charge indicator then we've got the USB-C port. It's a 3.2 Gen 2 port for power data and display out. Full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, a headphone microphone combo jack, and a micro SD card slot. So a nice bit of connectivity on the left-hand side there. And on the right-hand side, we've got a second full-size USB-A port and a second USB-C port. And then it's a Kensington Nano slot, I think, to lock it down, say in a classroom. So nice to have dual USB-C and A. And I should also mention it's Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 compatible. On the bottom of the Chromebook, as well as the rubber support stands, there is a grill for the processor. So the fan is going to be kicking out any heat from that 12th gen Core i5 processor in this one. And there's also an option for a 12th gen Core i3 to watch out for. Okay, let's open it up and take a look inside. So the screen, yeah, it does go back 180 degrees, which is really nice. Let's take a look at the keyboard decks. So obviously it's a really decent size, taking advantage of the 16 inch screen size of this one. You've got a dedicated number pad on the right hand side. Key travel, um, sort of medium with good sort of response on it, really quiet as well, feels, uh, Feels really good on that. You can probably see, or you might be able to see the backlighting has come on. I'll show you in a little bit how that actually works because there's four zone RGB backlighting on this one. So that should look pretty cool. Um, and you've obviously got, yeah, otherwise a, a decent size layout. Speaker bar at the top. I think there's four two watt speakers in there. So hoping that that sounds fairly decent with sound firing up at you. And the touchpad, yeah, it feels well seated. Got a fairly nice click to it, just feels like a fairly standard Lenovo touchpad there. And 
we've obviously got the branding and the label for the Core i5 inside this one. Okay, getting set up on the Chromebook and I've just jumped into guest mode to show you guys a few things. So let's come down to the bottom right, click onto settings and go onto about Chrome OS. We can see this is already running version 129. Now 130 is in the process of rolling out. But if you follow me on X or threads, you may have seen some of my updates about delays to certain models. Let's see, we are getting an update. I'm not sure if that's a minor update to 129 or if it's gonna be the 130 release ready for this one but let's get the Chromebook up to date. Let's also jump into diagnostics and look at the battery cycles and look at that, just one battery cycle, 100% battery health. So really excellent news for this very good condition refurb. Basically seems like it is like new. So that's excellent to see. Let's also look at the display resolution. So I'm just gonna type in display and pick display size. Yeah, so we can see the default is running at 1600 by 1000, but actually we can bring it all the way up to the native display here. So 2560 by 1600. So that is a 2.5K resolution. It's WQXGA. So yeah, a really high end resolution on this display. And it's looking like you're gonna get a nice bit of real estate in there. And I nearly forgot to show you guys the update schedule for this Chromebook. So let's go into About Chrome OS, just maximize that and come into additional details. And if I just zoom in here, you can see that this one's gonna get Chrome OS updates all the way through to June, 2032. So I'll finish getting set up with my test user now and then show you guys this display in a bit more detail. Just to recap the main spec and options as my apps continue to install. So I've got the 12th gen Intel Core i5 processor. With that, you'll get the Iris Xe graphics. On the lower end, there's the Core i3 option with the integrated UHD graphics. All models get eight gig of low power DDR4 RAM. For storage, I've got the highest spec option of a 512 gig SSD M.2 NVMe drive. You can also get that as a 256 gig option, or at the lower end, there's 128 gig of storage, which is just EMMC 5.1. Checking out the rest of the display, hopefully I can do it justice on camera. It looks superb as it should. So it's a 16 inch IPS display in this taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So a bit better for productivity and of course, hopefully gaming. It's running at that 2.5K resolution that I've already shown you. It's non-touch in a matte finish. And for color, it's covering 100% of the sRGB color space. So colors should look really accurate. And it's also got 120 Hertz refresh rate. There's a similar non-gaming version of this Chromebook that just has a 60 Hertz refresh rate. So definitely don't confuse those two. By the way, if you want to check the detailed spec of any Lenovo Chromebook laptop or desktop, I'll link you to a video in the top right now in the description to help with that. All models will also have a full HD webcam at the top of the screen here to meet the Chromebook Plus spec. So I just need to remove the cover that's still on here. And then you can just see the manual privacy slider operating over the camera. So I've made it a bit darker to hopefully show you the party piece of this four zone RGB backlit keyboard. So if you've got a backlit keyboard on your Chromebook, you're probably familiar with holding down the Alt key and tapping the screen brightness up or down key to change the brightness levels of it. This one's got a bit more to it. So there's a bit of a party piece with this four zone backlighting that I can show you. So the easiest way I think to get into the menu is if you tap with two fingers to essentially right click on the desktop and pick set wallpaper and style, you'll see at the bottom of the menu here, you get the keyboard backlight options. So default color is white, but I can change it to red. Let's check I've got it at the max brightness for you, yeah. Or I can change it to yellow or green or blue, you get the idea here. But if I click on this multicolored one, the rainbow, it's gonna do just that and create a rainbow effect. Pretty cool. Um, I can also match it to the wallpaper or I can click into customize. And as I say, I can fully control those four zones. So if I want zone one on the left-hand side to be white, and if I want zone two to then be blue, and if I want zone three to be purple, and if I want zone four to be, I don't know, yellow, obviously you can see I can control all four zones independently. So tell me if you're a gamer, how important this is to you, and tell me if you're not a gamer, how much you want this on your Chromebook. So obviously trying out a bit of gaming on this one, just got Real Racing 3 here. It's looking really good on the display as expected. 
Do let me know in the comments which games you'd like me to try out when it comes to the full review of this one. Don't forget a like for this video if you've made it this far and hopefully enjoyed or got something out of it. And do check out this next Chromebook video from the channel on screen for you now too. Cheers.